seem that the uh, the destiny is to uh, to have those replace the old variant. Reopening, but this time with the added threat of new, more infectious COVID-19 variants becoming the dominant strain within months. Some scientists are nervously watching restrictions ease with the worry Canada could see a rapid transition to these mutations. We shouldn't be opening up right now because it just, it will speed up the process so the new variant will be even faster and will become dominant faster. Monday, Alberta opens gyms to personal training and restaurant dine-in with limits on capacity and service, while Quebec and Ontario look at a gradual easing of health orders. In Ontario, we're seeing more screening uh, and uh, genomic testing for uh, variants, and the more we look, the more we find it's already there. Um, I know that uh, this testing is coming online in other places too, uh, such as Alberta. One University of Calgary researcher projects variants like B117 could be dominant by March 4th, leading to 1,000 daily cases in two weeks. The UK strain is 40 to 70 percent more contagious and has been linked to community spread in Alberta. So that will be like constant, like very long term yo yo or stop, start, stop policy. So stopping businesses from working to somehow manage the spikes, then opening ag again. Once that replaces the old one, given that conditions remain the same in terms of, you know, how much people are, are contacting each other, we would expect uh, the trend in cases to turn around um, and, and start growing exponentially overall. So it certainly does make me very nervous when we talk about things like, you know, indoor dining, returning. Scientists looking at the light at the end of the COVID-19 tunnel differently. Some argue vaccine efficacy in variants can be solved. And as we approach summer, it's harder for the, the disease to spread when we're all outside. I think it'd be unwise to kind of fling open the doors before then, because then we really could see, um, you know, a third wave in, uh, in March. In Calgary, Crystal Adaris, City News.